How's it going boys? Johnny Superb Man here and it's time for another NHL 15 shootout commentary. And this time I'm going to use the top of the Eastern Conference New York Islanders. What the hell? I didn't think I'd ever be saying that. Well, at least anytime soon, but it's true. 31-14-1 for the New York Islanders for first in the Eastern Conference and third in the NHL, which is incredible. And as of right now, when I'm making this shootout commentary, they actually have the most amount of wins out of any team in the NHL, right? So, I mean, President's Trophy, New York Islanders, that's right, I said it. I think you can say it in the same sentence now and not be ridiculed as somebody who doesn't know anything about hockey. They're, they're the real deal, this team, man. Already 31 wins on the regular season at this point incredible and it's scary too because you know if they're that good already think about the players that they have down in the minors still or the uh like their rookies still like joshua hosang to call griffin reinhardt right now hang on a second let me go with uh where is he where is he where's nick Kuhlman? i know his shootout move i gotta use it there you go all right i mean they got like guys like joshua hosang they'll call griffin reinhardt and their team that's playing right now that's performing at the top of the nhl level is still very young and, I mean, just, just listen to some of these stats here. It's interesting because they're second for goals for, but 21st for goals against. They're eighth for five on five play, but 28th for penalty killing. So they have their record based on their goal scoring. They have a lot of good depth goal scoring this year. And if they can shape up their defense, I mean, good Lord. President's Trophy, again, it sounds crazy to say that alongside of the New York Islanders, but it could happen this year, especially if they can shape up defensively, all right? Their penalty kill, 28th in the NHL. Get that top 15. And you guys are even better. So we'll focus on the shooter here. Pavel Datsuk coming down on Yaroslav Halak. Oh, uh, and that's uh, that's a clone of Pavel Datsuk. Pavel Datsuk wouldn't do that in real life. Come on, son. That's not the Kenny Wu up and over. You got to pick up the puck after. The rage in Russian Pavel Datsuk. Normally doesn't miss those. But this man, John Tavares. All right, so I'll do the... Uh, I'll, I'll show him how it's done. The up and over. And then I'll go JVR 5-hole, all right? Up and over... JVR 5 hole. Oh my god, look at that paddle. He friggin' smacked that away with his paddle. Look, look, look. Look at the paddle go. Oh my god, I had him. If I would have aimed to the top right, I would have liked to seen a better replay of that. I'll get it after the game. I would have had him though. The JVR 5 hole definitely would have worked. Who is this? Nyquist? What do you got for Yaroslav Halak? Yaroslav Halak, baby! Haha, <laughs> kneel before Halak. I got him, took out his knees, busted ACL, torn a uh, MCL, and Nyquist doesn't get the goal. Alright, Jimmy Howard. No, no, it's not Jimmy Howard, right? That's Morassak. Yeah, Jimmy Howard's injured. Garbajovsky. All right, let's do the uh, Garbajovsky spinorama here. All right. Uh, hopefully he's got the hands. Hopefully he's got the hands. Spinorama. No, he doesn't have the hands. For God's sakes! How does Garbowski not, ha not, ha not have the hands to do a spinner? I lost it right there, and then I went five hole, and I missed the net too. And not that it would have counted. I was trying to just uh, go all the way around and then extend him on his forehand. Make him stretch. Whatever. Zetterberg coming down. Oh, blocker side save with Yaroslav Halak. That's actually going to be the Nikolai Kuhlman move. He comes in, makes a little bit of a move to the backhand. Not too much. Doesn't telegraph it too much. And then goes to his forehand and low blocker. Come on, Cooley. Let's uh, make a nice little shot block. There's one player I wish the Leafs still had. Shot block comes up the ice. Oh, Nikolai Kuhlman. Nikolai Kuhlman. Oh, my God. What, he missed the net? For God's sakes. Every time Kuhlman has a shootout move, penalty shot, Islander fans, I'm sure you're seeing it now. Backhand, forehand, every damn time. That's his move. It's not necessarily a deke either. He does it like kind of like two or three feet away from the crease. So it's like it is a shot, like right around that circle. All right, here we go. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? Backhand? Backhand? Oh, he had no space. Now, there might have been a gap there on the inside of the post, but Yaroslav Halak, let's see. Yeah, he kind of killed his own angle there. All right. Uh, JBR 5 hole. I've tried that one. I could try the 10 hole. I don't know if that's going to work. The Staven Gerrard I could try as well. You know what? Let's try the 10 hole. All right, let's try the 10 hole. Here we go. Ryan Strom, older brother of Dylan. Here we go, coming in, oh baby, oh, 10 hole, oh my god, that get through his legs and it hit his pad, it looked like there was a gap there, oh no, it hit his pad, never mind, there was a little bit of a gap, just too good to be true though, <laughs> alright, Darren Helm, what do you got for me, number 43, if I can save this, it sets up the superb man shot, oh, oh, oh shit, he did it to me, through the legs, fuck, as soon as I saw that deke, I thought I had him, but I, I missed I, I misjudged it. No, I missed it. Yeah, I should have dove out to the right side after that deke. There's nowhere else he can go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I fucking mistimed it. And I got to score a goal to get back in this. All right. Balotelli, snipe. You know what? We'll go with the clutch snipe. This should work against him. I'll find a spot to uh, open it up, and I'll snipe it right in there. Kyle Poser. Let's go, son. Here we go. Here we go, Kyle Poser. Here we go. Yeah, clutch snipe. Bang. Bang. Oh, my God. Kyle Poser. What kind of shot is that? You're supposed to be a top-notch superstar. 
Dude, like, point a game, playing alongside of John Tavares. You missed the net? Fucking hell, couldn't hit the broad side of a barn with a shot like that. All right, so the Detroit Red Wings beat the New York Islanders, but that doesn't matter because I want to talk a little bit about the New York Islanders here. So you heard the stats about defensively, but offensively, they are a juggernaut. Obviously, we all know about John Tavares. Uh, Kyle Pozo gets to play alongside of John Tavares, which makes him a point-per-game player, right? But Brock Nelson, this guy's on pace for like 25 goals. Same thing with Kyle Pozo. Anders, uh, Anders Lee's on pace for 25 goals. Nikolai Kuhlman, he's on pace for 20 goals. And Franz Nielsen and Ryan Strom are both on pace for 50 points or more. So John Tavares is finally getting that depth goal scoring. And when you look at their roster from last year, a team that, you know, didn't finish very well, they got to draft Michael Del Call. And they were banking on them being a good team this year because they don't have their first overall pick this year. They have, um, the, sorry, the Buffalo Sabres have that pick, right? So they wanted to have a good year this year. And adding Nick Letty and Johnny Boychuk and Yaroslav Halak to their roster has completely changed everything. First of all, Nick Letty and Johnny Boychuk, you know, they're leading their team in plus minus with both plus 15. And both of them, one and two, are leading their defensemen in points. So... You know, just bring in two defenders that are basically your two best defenders on the team right now, right? That changes it. And Yaroslav Halak, you know, finally they have a goaltender where it's no ifs, ands, or buts. It doesn't matter how he's playing. He is the starting goaltender. He's got a pretty good record this year as well, 25-9-0. and And I think I said this earlier on in the shootout. If they're doing this well with this team... How good are they going to be in like two or three years? Because again, they still have Joshua Hosang down there, Del Call, Reinhardt. They still have a few other guys as well that could be depth players. I mean, Jesus, the sky's the limit for the New York Islanders. And I'm a true believer of John Tavares, you know? You need a leader, a nice center superstar. John Tavares is as good as anybody in the NHL as the first line center point scorer, all right? So I'm very interested to see what the New York Islanders can do. And the question I want to put to you New York Islander fans is, do you think that this pace is sustainable? I think it's safe to say that you guys should be a playoff team this year. You know, I don't think it's going to, you're going to have a complete falter where you guys miss the playoffs. But do you think you will be where you are at the end of the year? You know, uh, where you are right now at the end of the year. Is it safe to have an argument, the New York Islanders for President's Trophy? Or am I, you know, speaking a little bit too soon right now? Is a, is a losing streak right around the corner? I want to know, Islander fans, because that's very interesting. I'd love to see the new, uh, sorry, the young New York Islanders tear it up in the playoffs. Get some change in there, right? So, Islander fans, let me know how you guys are playing. All right, I hope for the best, and I will see you guys in the next one.